Hello, dear saints. Once again, it's good to be with you. This is our devotion for November 11th. Uh, Vicar Dennis here with you at Divine Shepherd Lutheran in Blackhawk. Uh, thanks for joining me today. It's good to have you. It's good to have you with me. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. November 11th, our psalm for today uh, is from Psalm 143, beginning with verse 1. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me, in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore, my spirit faints within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I ponder the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. These words here that we, we hear in this, uh, the psalmist today, words of repentance. Um, my spirit faints within me. He says here, um, there is not one in uh, verse 2, for no one living is righteous before you. We know that our sin is ever before us. We know that um, we are not righteous on anything that we do on our account, but we are righteous uh, because of what Jesus Christ uh, accomplished for us. In the Old Testament reading today, we're looking at the, the remainder of Jeremiah chapter 23, we looked at these uh, first few verses, uh, first half of the chapter yesterday. We continue. I did not send the prophets, yet they ran. I did not speak to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, then they would have proclaimed my words to my people, and they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their deeds. Am I a God at hand, declares the Lord, and not a God far away? Can a man hide himself in secret places so that I cannot see him, declares the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord? I have heard what the prophets have said, who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall there be lies in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies, and who prophesy the deceit of their own heart, who think to make my people forget my name by their dreams that they tell one another, even as their fathers forget my name for Baal. Let the prophet who has a dream tell the dream, but let him who has my word speak my word faithfully. What has straw in common with wheat, declares the Lord, is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, declares the Lord, who steal my words from one another. Behold, I am against the prophets, declares the Lord, who use their tongues and declare, declares the Lord. 
Behold, I am against those who prophesy lying dreams, declares the Lord, and who tell them and lead my people astray by their lies and their recklessness, when I did not send them or charge them. So they do not profit this people at all, declares the Lord. When one of this people or a prophet or a priest ask you, what is the burden of the Lord? You shall say to them, you are the burden and I will cast you off, declares the Lord. And as for the prophet, priest, or one of the people who says the burden of the Lord, I will punish that man and his household. Thus you shall say, every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother, what has the Lord answered or what has the Lord spoken? But the burden of the Lord you shall mention no more, for the burden is every man's own word. And you pervert the words of the living God, the Lord of hosts, our God. Thus you shall say to the prophet, what has the Lord answered you? Or what has the Lord spoken? But if you say, the burden of the Lord, thus says the Lord, because you have said these words, the burden of the Lord, when I sent to you saying, you shall not say the burden of the Lord, therefore... Behold, I will surely lift you up and cast you away from my presence, you and the city I gave to you and your fathers, and I will bring upon you everlasting reproach and perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. Wow. These words spoken to the prophets, these people, these prophets that come and they say that they come in the name of the Lord and all of these things. And God says, I did not send the prophets. Yet they ran. Again, he says here, if they would have stood in my counsel, I would have given them their words and they would have, they would have given uh, my words to the people. And here it says, it tells us in this chapter 2 that they're even stealing the words of one another. Who's, who's to believe what, any, anything that's coming from these prophets? Jeremiah, the true prophet that's sent, uh, they're, not, they're not listening to him, casting him aside, um, rejecting his words. And... <clears throat> God says, God tells these prophets here that uh, they, will, they will be of everlasting reproach. And it says here in verse 40, and perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten. How they spoke these words saying, I, have re I, I, I speak in God's name. Or, um, uh, and they tell, they prophesy lying dreams. They lead people astray by their lies and their recklessness. I did not send them. I did not charge them. When I read this today, <clears throat> um, it, it certainly makes us, should make us examine how important it is for us to stay in God's word. God speaks to us by his, through his holy word um, through his Holy Spirit. This is where we hear God's voice, is in his Holy Word. This is how he speaks to us today. If someone comes and they say that they have a word of the Lord and, they, and, and these things, and uh, it's a stern warning here as we, look at, as we look at Jeremiah. Jeremiah says, God says, I did not send them. They're not speaking my words. And certainly we've seen examples of this even, even in, in our own culture in, in these days that we live in where uh, so-called prophets have come forth and say that they're speaking the words of the Lord. God gave them a vision. God told them this. And then we, we see that these things that they speak, these things that they say, uh, they're not true. They don't. Uh, they, don't, they don't come to fruition. Why? Because they're false prophets. They're not speaking God's word. It's another, it's another stern warning that we see here too, how important it is for 
<clears throat> for pastors and those uh, for, for us to rightly teach God's word and what a responsibility that is to, to preach it and, and teach it properly. The only words of the Lord that, that I, can, I can bring are what God says here in his holy word. And this is, and again, this is how God speaks to us today. And so we go back here now to this time of, uh, this time here with, in Jer- with Jeremiah where God is, God is delivering this very stern um, uh, reprimand, if you will, to, the, to, these, to these so-called prophets that, again, say that they're speaking in God's name. God did not send them. They're not speaking his words. And what, the, what have they done? With their words and the things that they've, they've done, they've led the people astray. It's, it's made things even worse. As if, as if we're reading what's going on in here in Jeremiah and think, could, could any of this get any worse? Could they become even more godless? Well, thanks be to God that for you and I, it doesn't end there when we read this, that we know that, that Christ did, God did, did follow through he, with his promise that he said that he would send one and he would, he would send that one to redeem us from our sins. <clears throat> we saw that in the last, in the, in the first part of this chapter where it said that God would bring forth this righteous branch. And through him, all the nations would be blessed. And, and uh, he was going to become known as the Lord is our righteousness. Thanks be to God that God, God calls us to him through his word. He speaks to us through his word. And he still does that today. And he is still with us. And so how important it is for us to examine anything that we hear uh, uh, here around us, to examine it and look at it and to see, um, to, 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 uh, uh, to examine that in the light of God's holy word. Let's confess together again our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, we pray that you would guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus, that you would You would help us, O Lord, so that we're able to rightly discern when we see and we hear all of these voices and these things in uh, in our time and in our days when so many come forward and and say they are speaking the words of the Lord, when, Lord, we know that uh, it is not, the words do not come from you. So help us again, Lord, be with your people and help us to stay grounded in your word and it is in your word that your, your Holy Spirit speaks, speaks to us and continues to work in us and renew us. And we ask that you would continue to do that work in us uh, as well, O oh Lord, so that we can serve out our days here in your kingdom to those, to those around us in a lost and dying world. In the name of Christ our Lord, amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, uh, dear friends, I will see you again uh, tomorrow. Uh, I think that's going to be November 12th. 
I'll see you then, and we will continue looking at Jeremiah. Uh, God's peace be with you today.